Okay, in this video, we're going to look at some graph transformations. It's going to be really similar, apart from each time now the base is E. But we know what this is going to look like. So just a quick little side note here. If we just do a quick knowledge of what the sketch of E to the X looks like, we know it's just going to be a standard exponential function. And if it was E to the minus X, we know it's going to be the same function, but just coming in a decay position. This one crosses at 1. This one also crosses at 1. Okay. So we could think about a graph transformation here, but I actually think it's better to think of those three things that I talked about earlier on. And the three things are the shape, the y-intercept, and if we need to, the asymptote. So y equals e to the 3x. It is just going to be, as the general shape, an exponential growth graph. The y-intercept, when x is equal to 0, that would be y equals e to the 0, well, anything to the power of 0 is 1. And the asymptote, yeah, it's still here. The asymptote is in the same place. So, yeah, we could have thought about this as if f of x is e to the x, then we're doing f of 3x, which is e to the 3x. So, yeah, it is a stretch in the x direction. And the scale factor is a third, but you can't tell from looking at this graph here that it has been stretched in the x direction. It still just looks like an exponential graph. So don't worry too much about this. Just think about, is it growth? Is it decay? What's the intercept? Where's the asymptotes? So this one that I've got here, we've got y equals 5e to the minus x. Well, I've done this little hint up here, haven't I? That it's going to be a decay graph because of the minus power, because it's a reflection. And we're just going to go ahead with doing those three points. We're not going to do it with the transformations. I way prefer thinking about what this looks like with those three points. So it's a decay graph, which means it's actually going to keep going along here. Oh dear, my hand's wobbly. It's going to keep going along the axis. It's never going to actually touch the axis. And just think about where it crosses. So when x is equal to 0, y would be equal to 5e to the 0, which is 5 times 1 which is 5. So it doesn't matter if this 5 is low down, lower than it was over here, you just tell the person looking at your work, it's 5. It doesn't need to be to scale at all, and I suppose I really should have been a bit better, and I should have said x and y for all of these kinds of things. Let's have a look at this one. So this time I have got y equals 2 plus e to the 1 third x. Okay, well we know this is just generally going to be an exponential graph and then we're adding on 2 to it. So the adding on 2 bit I'm interested in. The adding on 2 is going to be a translation and it's going to move it up two positions. So we're going to do our three things that we've got. We've got your shape, we've got the y-intercept and we've got the asymptote. So it's an e to the x graph generally it's going to be this kind of shape the y-intercept is going to be when x equals zero y is going to be equal to two plus e to the zero which is one so it's three and the asymptote is the thing i'm interested in normally the asymptote is y equals zero but because everything is having two added to it it's going to be translated up and it's going to be y equals two so this time the best place to start is to put in the asymptote this is 2 here, and it's y equals 2. And now we can just do the standard shape of the graph, exponential, and it's crossing here at 3. OK? No need to think about transformations, just think about those three points. So we'll do the same things for this. We'll do the shape, we'll do the y-intercept, and we'll do the asymptote. So. The shape, we've got a positive power for x, so it's just going to be generally kind of coming like this. The y-intercept is when x equals 0, so y is going to be 50 e to the 0 minus 20, which is just 50 minus 20, which is just 30. And this time the asymptote, because the whole thing has a minus 20 here, this means that it's going to be translated... 20 spaces down. So the asymptote is now going to be, instead of at y equals 0, it's going to be y equals minus 20. So let's start off by drawing in the asymptote. 
of minus 20. So here is y equals minus 20. And we want it to cross where y is 30. So we want it to cross somewhere positive. So that just means all you need to do for your graph, maybe I should have not put that 30 quite so high up. Let's put it here. Make sure you've got an asymptote. Whoops. Like this. And it shoots up here. OK, that's 30. Now, what you will be able to do eventually is find out this coordinate, but we don't have enough skills to be able to find out what this coordinate here in red is. So for now, we're just going to stick with that bit. Just to quickly recap, we looked at the shape for this, which we knew was going to be an upwards exponential. The y-intercept we found was 30, so we marked that on. The asymptote had been translated 20 spaces down, so we had it starting like this down here and whoosh, shooting upwards through to 30. So what I'd like you to try now is exercise 14b, which is going to be a combination of sketching e, um, e graphs as well as some differentiation.